you have been visiting the site in the past week or so, you will have noticed that there's a new poll on the site, you probably even participated. And to my honest surprise, walkthroughs are winning the poll. Yeah. I honestly thought video content or user blogs are gonna be uh, the top-notch requested content, but anyway, almost 50% of the people want walkthroughs, so we're gonna deliver walkthroughs. You know, there are a lot of sites that focus yeah. on, on walkthroughs. Walk you can get them anywhere on the on the website. So that kind of caught me by surprise that yeah. like these people either don't know about the good walkthroughs that already are out yeah. there, or want us to do our own versions Perhaps. of walkthroughs with you know that Zelda Informer twist. Yeah, okay, yeah. that, that and being that's, said... That's kind of like what I was yeah. thinking, like, or, or how, how I was reading the poll that they want us Possibly. to that being walkthroughs. said, That being said, let's not speculate. Uh, the comment section. Uh, the original idea that I had, what we've had, that we had, was to take these walkthroughs and add a little comedy twist to them, you know, the uh, normal satirical approach we take in yeah. uh, most of our stuff. And so just, uh, the comment section is there, say your opinion, why do you want walkthroughs, what kind of walkthroughs do you want, spoiler free, video, uh, text based, uh, audio based, picture based, I don't know. Yeah, and, and do you really want, like, you know, your everyday walkthrough, just, you know, like a wall of text? Or do you yeah. want us to do it in our own way? Yeah. At the beginning, there were long articles, you know, really in-depth things. Yeah. And then it moved on to, you know, shorter, more opinionated articles. Yeah, because, uh, frankly, uh, Zelda games, I mean, as big as they are, they all have limited quantity of materials. So there's yeah, only you, that much yeah, you stuff can, you can write yeah. about before repeating yourself. Yeah. So. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to get variation. Get yeah. different kinds of writers yeah. and different kinds of writings down of there. Course. But but what surprises me that in the previous poll, not this one, yeah. uh, the articles were still the most preferred content, were they not? Yeah, they were. They, they were closely... Uh, they, were, they were barely ahead of news, which yeah. is again something that I was surprised considering just how much hate we get <laughs> in our news posts. Yeah. But, uh, we love you either way, even though you make our lives living hell. I still enjoy it. I still laugh at all the comments. They they, they make me happy inside. I, I almost said in my pants. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, what we've been trying to get along in the past month or so, but uh, it, it hasn't really been uh, up to speed. Our Nintendo-based article, since we yeah. now expanded to Nintendo news and content as well, it's natural to start on these articles as well. There are a lot of things one can talk about, uh, you know, uh, for example, just from the top of my head, uh, the co character controversy in Metroid Other M, among other things. But we'll get to that eventually, it's a slow process, we need more writers, take this as a hint, we need uh, staff applications, more people to write articles. And yeah, so we're moving on with the walkthroughs, Speaking of which, the Skyward Sword walkthrough is going to be available on day one after when the game is released, full walkthrough. The 100% item walkthrough is going to be available at, uh, at most, maybe 10, 10 days later. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but starting, well, perhaps next week, uh, we're, going, we're going to episodically release A Link to the Past video walkthrough with uh, comedy narration, <laughs> courtesy of yours truly, and um, so it's basically it. you're gonna you probably you probably can expect the reopening of the music section relatively soon, but I don't take my word for that. And essentially, we're looking at a bright future, future and hopefully yet another revolution day. Yeah. Uh, our visit to Osijek uh, has to be cut short, unfortunately, right now, because uh, it has been uh, divided into three sections. First one being sightseeing. Second one being recording this video, which is now closing its end. And the third one, the most important one, is the evening part. 
that's it. So this is Uncle Meat and Predator from Osiek leaving you with a picture of the Majora's Mask and two beautiful pints of beer. Peace out. Yeah, I just noticed, if you look over here, there's uh, lots of train cars filled with what appears to be either turnips or potatoes. I think turnips. Yeah. So, if you're having turnips right now, this is where they come from. <laughs> Think about it. It's, uh, right now, I am here with a hangover, sitting, drinking water, the train station in Osijek, waiting for a train which is not due in three more hours. Yeah. And God knows when I'm gonna be home, what I'm gonna do. And how I'm gonna feel. And tomorrow I have university. How, how did you talk me into this? <laughs> <laughs> it's my vacation. I'm going back to Hungary to, to some friends and have some more absence. Oh, and Nate, if you're watching this, fuck you. That's all. I have to edit that out. <laughs> I have no hard feelings for you, Nate. You're, you're a swell guy. <laughs> like a turnip. <laughs> yeah, like all of these turnips. No, you're better. You're better than these turnips. <laughs> As a webmaster, you're like a bottle of absinthe set on fire. <laughs> what? How do you find it? Tasty but dangerous? <laughs> dangerous in many ways. Yeah. It can set you on fire and it can knock you out cold. <laughs> yeah, but same. damn, is it fun. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your preference, one might be more fun than the other. <laughs> the fire and this yeah. knocking out. But, you know, hey, I actually managed. Oh, that, that, that's my hidden talent. To get some absinthe into my eyes last night. Oh yeah, yeah, that you did. That was a fun experience. Not. <laughs> How did it feel? Do you still have bloodshot eyes? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But how does it feel? You know, I heard that basketball players. Uh, when they finish a game, they used to pour beer into their eyes well, as a manliness ritual. I'm not sure if it's true. Perhaps in Bosnia. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I actually heard that this in, in America. Uh, I might be wrong. And from what I hear, that, that burns like a bitch. Beer burns in the eyes. But this absinthe, it, it was like two drops. And... And not, not only did I screw my chances with the ladies, you know, uh, it wasn't a conversation with a few swell ladies, but I also couldn't see shit for at least an hour. Well, on the um, well, upside, on the upside, uh, I got a laugh. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a good show. Late, later that night, I did get to base too. You did? Yeah. Good that, job. That's about it. <laughs> and to top it off, now I'm gonna board the train, go home, and finish this bottle with friends. So how long is the way home? Six hours. Yeah, it's the same for me. Pretty I'll much. Good meet up in the middle. Next time, I'm gonna drag you all the way down to Sarajevo. <laughs> Okay, Damir has um, taken a dare. He's going to try some of that green potion just for fill all up of you. Magic. Yeah, to <laughs> fill up his magic meter for tonight. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, this burns three times. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, <laughs> you can oh, see yeah. that this uh, liquid contains 70% alcohol. 
See, that's how much diameter I had last night. It was uh, enough to get any <laughs> any man out there. How how did that feel for you? Uh, I've seen the light, <laughs> and the light had a name, and the name was Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, absent is green, Cthulhu is green. Coincidence? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking absinthe is like suicide. Yeah. Only better. Yeah. <laughs> Only but, it tastes but, better. But, uh, no, no, to, to put it into perspective, if you had three glasses of beer like this, and you you, you know you just sip the beer, drink all one shot, take another, and drink three glasses like this, it's the equivalent of taking this uh, a good, uh, one shot of absinthe and one shot glass so it's uh, like a shock through the through the organism normally you have to drink it with a, a burning sugar but since we do not feel ourselves uh, like competent enough pyromaniacs we we went with the with the basic stuff you just drink it and see what happens <laughs> yeah I have a bad experience with uh, sitting drinks on fire and <laughs> setting myself on fire at the same time so don't really recommend that either but I do recommend absinthe, absinthe.